Hi, my name is Edmund Park. I'm from Chungye branch. I'm here to talk about Lapsit, the app that we can use to do time lapsing or stop motion. The functions are a bit basic, but there is a lot of things that you could do with the app. Uh, the main benefit being that in C2 classes next term, uh, we're going to have a lot of students presenting at the same time. So there could be apps that are beneficial because students don't need to talk as they are recording us. So on the bottom right side here, the new capture function is what we use to make new videos, time lapse or stop motion. The second one, the gallery, is where you could find the videos that you've already made. And the settings button is for more of those video editing savvy people uh, that can actually change some settings to make the video look a lot better. But we're not going to focus on that now as you could change most of the important settings uh, as you are recording. So let's start off with new capture. So here on the left side, you can see uh, different settings or buttons. Uh, the capture button is actually used to start off um, editing or filming the video. Uh, the second setting here is the most important one because you're going to decide whether you're going to do a time lapse or a stop motion video. So for now, I'm going to show you guys how to do a time lapse video. Right now, the preset at two seconds, let's say I want to preset it at three seconds. So I go to three and I click seconds. You could do milliseconds or minutes if you wanted to but right now we're gonna focus on seconds. And then I set it, and then once it's set, I make sure that my video is focused on the picture, and then I click capture, and now every three seconds, it will take a picture. As you can see here. And then once I'm done, I click on the screen, and I push stop. So now we are at a screen where you can edit the video, uh, but right now I'm gonna go back and actually go to show you guys how to do a stop motion now. So in the same setting, the second button on the left side, you click it, and now you don't have to type in any number because obviously we're doing stop motion. I click on the stop motion button here, and now every time I want to take a picture, I just click capture. So I can capture this, and then I can move around these dice, and you could see the image from before is still on the screen to help you kind of gauge where you should take your next picture. So now I'm going to take another picture, and then maybe I could do it one more time and take my final picture. So on the left side, you can see here, it tells us we have three frames. And now that I am done, I'm going to click Stop. And again, I'm at this ed editing screen. So one more time, I'm going to go back. Let's say I want to take a look at some of the videos I made. I go to Gallery. Uh, I'm actually going to show you guys a video we made previously, as it will be a better example. Uh, when your screen is to the side, you can't actually edit it, so you have to go top down. So when you're looking top down on the screen, on the bottom you see all these different functions. Uh, trim, uh, let's see here, I want to cut it short or I want to start it early. I could trim the video down to make it a little bit better. Then I could go to the effects area. Effects, they have four of them. There is no effect, or there's black and white, or there's inverse and vivid. So if I click vivid, let's say, or inverse colors, I can make the video a little bit more interesting. And music is only for the pro version. And lastly, rendering when I want to finish the final product. But a very important step here on rendering is being able to figure out how many frames per second you would like. So right now, we are at inverse colors at one second. So as you can see, every second, a new picture is coming out. And then let's say I want to do every, let's say 16 frames a second, or let's say 15, I set it. I play it, and as you can see, it's much faster than before. So once you're done with the final product, then you click on the render on the bottom right, and you are done. And that is a very quick explanation of how to use Lapsit.